It seems like everybody just wants to work from their Vision Pro. They want to have windows all around them. They want to be immersed in their work. They think they're going to get a lot done with a headset on their head. And they all think that this is the future of computing and getting work done. But is it? I honestly have no idea, but maybe. There are some pros to actually using this to try and get stuff done, but there's also quite a few negatives as well. So let's go ahead and walk through those and see what might be a better alternative. So I guess we'll put it on and see what we can do. So first glance, yeah, it looks like this is the future of computing. You are surrounded by all of your work. It's so easy to get so many things done because you can have giant windows, you can have small windows, you can put them further away or closer away, you can stack them on top of each other, you can do whatever you want. It's so cool because they literally can be everywhere. No matter where you turn your head or your body, you're going to see something that you're trying to do or work on. We are totally immersed in work right now. Well, kind of. So I mean, I have you know, a spreadsheet up, I have notes, I have a podcast to listen to while I'm doing work. I have Microsoft Teams, which I'm not logged in because I can't show you my actual team stuff. I got files open and, oh, you know what? What if I wanna brainstorm something? If I wanna brainstorm something, I can go over here and open up this MindNode app and I can get up, stretch my legs and do a little bit of brainstorming right here in my living room. So I can move these ideas wherever I want. I can say, let's see, tap, tap. Oh, there it is. Found the keyboard. Sometimes you just have to find the keyboard because who knows where it might actually be. Um, tips. I don't know what the tips are, but some kind of tips. So yeah, brainstorm complete, check. So yes, you can absolutely be completely and utterly immersed in these windows inside Apple Vision Pro to get work done. Of course, as you saw, the typing experience was not so great. So you're going to need external keyboard and trackpad because, well, it, you can't use a mouse, so it has to be an external keyboard and trackpad. And then you can actually type to your heart's content. And of course, you also have the option of bringing along your Mac. So we can go ahead and log in here and open up my Mac on a bigger display inside the Vision Pro. And there it is, so connect, connect, and give it just a moment. And there we go, so now I also have my Mac display so I can get some work done that way as well. I can make this as big as I want. If I want a giant work surface like that, I can do that, center it, and now I have one giant A Mac to work from. So instead of using this Safari window to go back and forth with tabs, I guess I could just use Safari in the Mac and get the full featured Safari because you know that is going to have more features than what you're going to find in the iOS or iPad OS or Vision OS version of Safari. Overall, the view of the Mac display from the Vision Pro is pretty good. You can make it bigger, smaller, bring it closer to you, push it further away, and everything still looks pretty good. You can scroll around just fine. Everything is still pretty fluid. It really is all pretty seamless. And of course, to really immerse yourself in your work, go ahead and turn on one of the immersive surroundings and you are full on out on your own. You got some background noise from the immersive environment and you can just get things done. All of this is really cool. It's all a very novel experience and it's really cool to try out and see if it might work for you. However, if you're not going to be using a Mac, for example, let's start there, there's just not a ton of apps out there to get work done. So if all you wanna do is take your Vision Pro and go outside or go to a coffee shop and get work done, what can you actually do with it? So I showed over here, I have Teams. So you can get messaging apps like Teams and Zoom and WebEx and chat with your coworkers and that works fine. You have access, basic access to your files, whatever you have on iCloud Drive essentially. You can take notes, you can do that brainstorm thing that I showed you before. And here's the App Store, what else can you really do? What else is in here to get things done? So unleash your productivity. You can look at your calendar. You can open up a spreadsheet. And of course there's Microsoft Word as well, but essentially there's almost nothing available for real work apps. Even when I use my iPad, I can get things done because I can get Citrix and I can log into servers and I can do all these other things on the iPad, but the apps just are not available for Vision Pro, at least not yet. So to get more stuff done beyond just watching videos and playing around in Safari, 
you're going to need to bring along your Mac as well. And as you can see, sometimes it just doesn't want to connect to your Mac. So then you have to troubleshoot that while you're out and about. So that's fun. And there we go. Finally, we are up and running. So like I said, this is pretty cool. You can make the display absolutely giant. You can put it wherever you need it to go. You can make it as big as you want. You can do things like video editing. So let's go into here and we'll open up my previous video and take a look at it inside Final Cut Pro. So doing something like video editing actually works pretty well. There's not a lot of lag. There is just a slight bit of lag and the audio comes out of the Mac itself rather than the speakers on the Vision Pro. So you are probably going to need AirPods or something, uh, but then you won't hear the audio for the Vision Pro. You're just going to hear the audio coming from the Mac. But overall, it does actually work pretty well for video editing and you can see a giant display of your output up here. So that's really nice. Editing photos on the Vision Pro is also pretty good as well. The elements on the display are pretty big. They're easy enough to see and you can actually do it. I edited this in the Vision Pro as well. Now, your job probably involves a lot of reading and writing, whether that's emails and proposals or whatever it is you do for your day job, you probably need to read a lot. And some web pages do a really good job of showing you the text, like The Verge is really good. But when you're actually just reading like text in a spreadsheet or in a document, it's really not the best. So if I open up notes, I can see here that this text is pretty fuzzy. It's not sharp really at all. But if I look at the text inside the Vision Pro, it's very legible, it's much more clear, there's no issues reading it, it looks really good. But the text over here just isn't great. Sure, I can go ahead and make this a bit smaller and bring it in, but yeah, I mean, this text is just not great to read and it definitely causes some eye fatigue as I spend time reading through documents or trying to write up a script for this channel. Now, if you don't have any issues reading from the external display of your Mac inside the Vision Pro or all the apps you need for your productivity is inside the Vision OS App Store, then great, that's fine. You can surround yourself like we talked about earlier. And that's the last issue I have with this type of setup is that you're immersed, which means to look all the way around you, you have to move your head a lot. You have to move your entire body a lot, right? This is not very ergonomic. You're moving around a lot more, plus you have the pound and a half of weight on your face, which definitely cannot be good for your neck, especially after hours and hours of use. I can wear this thing for a couple of hours without too much issue, but I'm never not aware of having this thing on my face. And that's really all my issues with using the Vision Pro for work. This very well might be the future of computing and the future of work, I just don't see it today. We don't have the native apps to be able to do what you need to do. An iPad may be a better solution just because of the apps. And using your Mac with the Vision Pro doesn't provide the best experience for most work that actually has to happen beyond video editing. But there is a better solution, one that is more ergonomic and doesn't require you to turn your whole body every time you look at a different window, one that doesn't require strapping a pound and a half brick to your face, and one where you don't have to worry about the clarity of the text. The Vision Pro is super awesome and it has novel ideas about how to get work done, but you just can't get a lot of work done compared to what you can do today with your desktop or laptop computer at a desk with a display. And of course, my Mac setup is made even better with the help of the TS4 from channel sponsor CalDigit. The Thunderbolt Station 4 has 18 ports of connectivity and can charge my 14-inch MacBook Pro at up to 98 watts through the single Thunderbolt 4 cable. You can see in the system information that I'm getting a full 98 watts of power for maximum charging speed. Now, if I connect a bunch of devices that also require power from the TS4 and refresh the display, the laptop will still receive the full 98 watts of power while powering all the external devices. This is possible in part because of the included 230 watt power adapter. I have tested multiple competing docks that have maximum charge speeds lower than the TS4, but continue to drop as I connect additional accessories to the dock. This can lead to a slower charging speed or even power drain, depending on your workload. And if you're also wondering about the TS3 Plus, it will always provide a constant 87 watts of power to your laptop with other devices connected. So as you can see, the CalDigit TS4 is the most versatile and powerful Thunderbolt 4 dock you can get with 18 ports of connectivity and enough power to run anything you connect to it. You can find the TS4 using the link in the description below. And my thanks to CalDigit for sponsoring this video. So with all of that said, is the Vision Pro the future of getting work done? Maybe. Not for me today and not for me for a while. It's going to take a lot of iteration on this device 
to get it to where I need it to be to be able to actually work from it. And without needing to carry around a giant three pound dongle. But other than that, what do you guys think about working from the Vision Pro? Does that seem practical to you? Let me know in the comments down below. And since we're talking about other display options, check out this video right over here where I talk about using a 5K display versus all the others. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked it, hit subscribe if you want, and I'll see you next time.